The fourth K in my 10 Ks of personal branding. Know how to accept failure as a part of building your personal brand. That's right, know how to accept failure as a part of building your personal brand. Anyone here in this room ever fail at something? Did you fail because you had to experience that to keep going? Or did you fail because you had no plan? Often we fail because we have no plan. But here's a concept, seek failure. Seek failure, seek failure. Let me explain, failure is defined as not meeting pre-established objectives. The act or fact of not meeting the desired end or ends. Sometimes we fail because we took a risk, because we took a risk. But in taking that risk, we allowed ourselves to extend ourselves outside our comfort zone and now create a much broader definition of what can be and what is possible. But you would have never known what you were capable of had you not taken that risk. Anyone here in this room have a transforming setback in their life or their career? Transforming setback in their life or their career? Anyone? Think about that event. And think about who you've become today as a result of it. Often we are just as much the product of our failures as we are our successes. And what I'd like to say is if you're not afraid to fail, you have all the confidence in the world to succeed. Anyone want to share their personal story of failure and how to find who they are today? Anyone? Anyone want to share their personal story of failure and how to find who they are today? Anyone? Raise your hand. Yes, right there, blue shirt. Come on up, please. What's your brand name? What's your brand name? What did you have on, this, on the name tag? You didn't write it down? Okay. His, his brand name is I Didn't Write It Down. Give him a warm round of applause as he comes to the stage. I Didn't Write It Down. I want you to tell us your personal story of failure and how to find who you are today. So uh, when I was in my undergrad, I ran a little computer repair business, uh, just doing small stuff for home users and small businesses. Well, the first client I ever had completely went in without a plan. <clears throat> was more kind of focused on or worried about how I was going to act, what I was going to do, how I was going to get through my first ever client meeting. Well, I essentially came out of that experience with huge failure. Fell on my face, didn't, didn't deliver what I said I was going to deliver. And I just kind of learned from that experience that even though you fail, you're going to gain so much more from that failure than if you actually succeeded. So from that failure, I was able to, my next kind of engagement, realize what I did wrong, kind of go in with more of a specific plan, and I guess move forward amicably. And was able to keep going with that business, make it effective, had it all through, high, all through my undergrad, and kind of paid for uh, a little bit of that, so I didn't have to do the student loan thing. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Great job. Do you want some candy? Take it back for your table. All right. <laughs> My point is today, your brand will be defined not just by the things you do well, but also by the things you overcome. Because analysts, when you overcome something, you have experience. A lot of people take risks on your teams, on your engagements even risks that will cause you to fail. But what you learn from that and what you grow from that and what you now can deliver from that will now explode your brand so that you are now a trusted advisor to your teams, to your colleagues, to your clients. Do not be afraid to raise your hand to take the initiative to push something forward because your brand will be defined by the initiative you take and your brand will be defined by the failures that you make and the things you overcome. There have been some historic marketing failures, right? The Chevy Nova. Nova in Spanish means what? What does it mean in Spanish? No go. Would you buy a car that means no go? Kentucky Fried Chicken had a slogan, finger licking good, finger licking good. And when they exported that brand, that slogan around the world to some of the different countries, it actually meant eat your fingers off. <laughs> Coors, Coors Beer had a slogan, turn it loose, turn it loose. And when they exported that brand, that slogan around the world to some of the different countries, it actually meant suffer from diarrhea. <laughs> These companies all learned from their failures to build better, powerful brands for success. How are you in this room, each of you in this room, learning from your failures to build a powerful, powerful brand for success? Know how to accept failure as a part of building your personal brand.